Recently, my blade cutter jumped off track. I don't know how, but it happened. I went online, looked at YouTube videos, and all the blade replacement tutorials that I could find were not for the designer SE. So last night on Yahoo, I saw that somebody was having trouble with their um, blade cutter. Anyway, I thought I'd show you how I fixed mine. Um, so I took the, the little plate off of this area here where the blade cutter is. Um, this piece was, I was able to pull it up. And it just came off because it's, it, these two pins on the bottom of the blade cutter go into these little holes right here. And this one will move back and forth. So when you're putting it back together, you have to, you know, make sure that these pins line up with these holes. And in this little blade cutter is this little thing that holds the actual blade. And what I found out by looking at the YouTube videos is that this tiny blade that's in here, I don't know if I'm trying to get it so the light can see it pretty well. Um, let me take this off. It slides off the back of this arm. So this tiny blade is actually something that you could get from one of these. I don't know what size it is. It said so on the, the YouTube video, but all you have to do is take a pair of um, needle nose pliers and pop off this blade right here. Make sure it's a new blade. Um, you know, if you've used your blade before in this cutter, um, take that old blade off and then just pop off this new blade. And put it in this slot. It, it'll it'll fit in there one direction because this. Oops. You want the blade to be pointing up there, away from this arm here. So on the top, the the blade goes out, and it'll fit right into this little angled piece right here. So you can just replace that blade without having to buy a new one. And then you want to take these little channels right here and slide it from the back, like slide it from starting here up into here. The, the difference was with the other video is that there's a, apparently a hole that go, that's in the side right here, the side wall, but mine didn't have a, a hole there. The designer SE that I have, I don't know if there's anything that's, that's changed, um, it didn't fit in there. And when you're sliding this, the blade back on, the point will poke uh, this way. And so all you're gonna do is slide it back onto this track. Okay, it'll fit right there. And now what you wanna do is this piece right here will go down into this little track. So you have to match up three things, this little track and these two pinholes, okay? So let's see if I can get that done. And I do have to turn it sideways and kind of line up the holes. And it kind of all drops down there in, at one time if you're lucky. It 
It took me two or three tries. But there it is. And so you see that the little piece of that, that part that slides off that holds the blade goes down into this little channel right here. So I hope that helps. It worked for me. Um, maybe it'll also work for you. Good luck.